Good morning everyone and welcome back to Anne Furbank in Buckton. My name is Debbie uh, and I know it's only the beginning of August but actually I've got the heating on this morning. There's quite a chill in the air and autumn is just around the corner. So I want to talk to you this morning about a beautiful new collection, main collection we've had in from Mark Kane, which features a lot of lovely knitwear. I love knitwear, I love autumn clothes. I'll tell you at the very end what I briefly what I'm wearing because I'm not in collection, I'm in sport. Um, so let me start. This is theme C, third delivery. Um, I have a couple of others in the in the bag to show you at a, at a later point, but just wanted to catch up with you on this one because it's particularly exciting with all the lovely jumpers. Uh, this is called Gentlewoman, and actually this is um, the start of the real feel for knitwear for the autumn. And the whole thought process behind this is that soft, comfortable, cocooning look of knitwear, soft, casual, luxury. And we are still moving forward with very casual looks. We are now nearly at an end for buying for spring, summer 2022. And that casual um, but smart look is still very much uh, to, the, to the fore. And that's what we're buying. So suiting and sharp dressing, business suiting and all of that really is, is gone for the time being because of the way we're living and the way we've been living since January 2020. So the whole thought process is to, is to protect you. And um, this all comes from all the, the feelings of insecurity we've had since January of last year. So I think bring you a little bit of warmth and uh, touchy feely. Virgin wool, cashmere, alpaca in all of these. You really need to come in to feel them actually, as Becky often says, um, but I'll try and transfer a lot of that through the screen to you this morning. So. Um, they've kept the, the colour palette very minimal with monochrome black and white and then just introduced a very soft pink, a very soft peachy, very earthy peachy pink just for that little bit of warmth and, and comfort. So first model number one, if I start with her hat, very nice Trilby hat, £65, don't look at me, I don't suit hats, £65 for Trilby hat, absolutely terrific value, she's really nice, we've got about four of those. Um, and then this lovely black and white um, virgin wool, mainly virgin wool, some cotton in there, a little bit of polyamid, um, but you can see the print pattern on that. Not too long, that one. Little funnel neck. And these funnel necks, they're not polar necks. They're not tight. They're not uncomfortable to wear. Your skin does get sensitive. And I have had all of these on. They're very soft. They're very comfortable. You can put the turn it back and get a big deep cuff there if you like. Um, and obviously, I always preach when I talk about knitwear and if I sell knitwear to people don't overwash your knitwear they're hand wash only they don't need it if you wear like a second skin or a long sleeved t-shirt cotton next to your skin that's what you wash don't wash the life out of your knitwear it really doesn't need it um, so I've, I've teamed her with a lovely pair of black sparkle can you just pick up on the sparkle down her thighs and down dripping down in, in black diamonds down to just the top of her knees so a um, little bit of sparkle for the autumn there these jeans um, are lovely and stretchy you'll find in all of these uh, and now in major um, top-end designer brands they are using um, a high percentage of what we call elasto multiester elasto multiester is a cross of polyester yarns that will link together and with maximum stretch. So they give you, not your daughter's jeans, that's those top end labels will use a lot of this, plus elastane to give you that comfort and the stretch. So you do need to buy them really fitted, really tight uh, and neat on the body because obviously with washing and wearing again and again and again through the season, that elastane then starts to break down and ease a little bit. So you buy them really neat to begin with. So they're really sharp. I will run through the prices for you because obviously knitwear can be expensive. The um, print sweater is 325, but there is 39% virgin wool in that hand wash but remember what I said about an underpinning black sparkly jeans six percent elasto multiester two percent elastane and 215 if I could just quickly show you the boot this is a pull-on baseball boot 229 with a little wedge um, or flat form as we call them really comfy 
if I say they're comfortable, believe me, they're comfortable. Lovely. That sort of look is all very much in very casual again. So model number two, this gorgeous little t-shirt with Mr. Lion and look at his mane with all these little cut threads. Isn't that amazing? We sold a couple of those already. He's just gorgeous and very typical of their wild cats. So I didn't want to cover him up with anything. He speaks for himself really. And all the soft muted shades in that t-shirt and all the beadwork, it's absolutely gorgeous t-shirt just for your information mr lion t-shirt is 169 100 percent cotton fully washable i would suggest perhaps you turn it inside out and just protect him and all his beads and he is sitting over this lovely soft pink in this tapered jean and you can see if becky homes in on that all this stitch detail down into a lovely tapered ankle the feel and the handle on those is like a brushed cotton it is absolutely gorgeous um, those are 169. They have 11% multi-ester, even more stretch than those. 11% multi-ester, 4% elastane. So they're like putting on leggings, but actually not with that grippy, grippy feel because you've got the width there. Um, and now moving back to this, to the pink again in this gorgeous sweater. Gorgeous. Actually, I say sweater. That's a size eight. And you know the height of me, five foot eight. I, well, not me, not me with my legs, but somebody... <laughs> could wear that as a dress. It is actually classed as, as a tunic, really. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, you've got a very soft, I won't call it a funnel because it is more of a polo, but it is very soft and you can pull it away from your from your neck if you feel warm. Obviously have an underpinning on that um, and you'll be fine, but look at the detail on that and the cabling all around the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. So she is 279, she's 35% virgin wool, 30% alpaca, and you can feel that in the softness, and 35 acrylic. And, and you just pop something really long and straight, if you don't want to put opaque tights and boots, just some leggings. And so I've put on these new leggings, they're just pull on, um, polyamid leggings, nice and straight. Uh, and those are fully washable, those are 189. This chunky boot here, the lace boot, I've featured, that's the sort of thing you would wear with those. Two-tone here, so you've got your chestnut, you've got your black leather as well, and these really sparkly laces, 289. And if you look at the last on those, yes, they are chunky, but because of this oval-shaped toe, almond-shaped toe, I have got those actually in my wardrobe for the autumn. I'm a size seven and I have to watch when it gets too chunky that I don't look like I'm wearing boats on my feet, but they're really smart because they're not too chunky and they have that nice tapered toe. Okay, I'll mention the jewelry at the end as well because I have used all the new scents which we haven't had for a couple of years. So I'll just talk you through that in a bit. So a little bit smarter here with the more tailored trouser in the black and camel check. These are our basic sort of stretch jersey. Um, they have a zip, they have a button, but they are all elastic the whole way around the waistband. So they give you a lovely comfort and a lovely shape and a lovely fit. And they are all fully washable. Um, and in the combining the two colors really. And then the camel sweater again with the funnel neck and then all the lovely cabling and detail on here. And if you can see probably through the camera, this has got a gold Lurex thread all through that. It's quite short, it's more cropped, so it's not the length of the others. Very nice, it's got the go faster stripe down the side. And then actually if I swivel her around, you can see that on the back, she's actually gray. More Well, it's like a, um, a cable, um, it's like a mottled gray and taupe through there. So very detailed little jumper, very pretty and a bit shorter if you don't like them too long. So she's got 46% um, cashmere, 40% polyamid and 14 metallic polyester. That's all the, the metal thread through there. Hand wash only, 495 use your underpinning again. Check jersey, jersey trousers, a 64% viscous, 34 polyamid, 2% elastin, really comfortable to wear. They just sort of stop short of full length, but if you shorten the leg, they'll just come to the top of your foot. And the lovely crop boots in the leather, we've got these in camel as well, 329 for those. And finally, but not 
um, but not by, by no means um, lesser being. We have um, Madam here in this beautiful pink coat. Perhaps I've sold one of these already. So this is a double breasted, 100% wool coat. It is as soft as butter. It's like a brushed wool. I'd swear that was 100% cashmere. It is gorgeous. It's unlined apart from the sleeve, so your arms just slip through. It's really, it's a car coat length. It's a really pretty colour and a very serviceable coat for the autumn, for the winter. It'll keep you really cosy. And that is, I think, 649. Six, 645. 645. So if I just whip the coat off because she's all in black underneath that, and you won't have a clue what's going on underneath her. So this little cotton... A um, little poly cotton layered top. You can see it's sort of this like a little, it's like poly jersey to here, and then a stitch detail, little yoke, and then you have the cotton button flap that gives you that extra layer and a long sleeve, little detail on the cuff. So that's really nice and soft to wear as an under a warm coat like this. And then these black jeans are actually an extra to the collection that we had in the navy and chestnut earlier because it's such a soft, stretchy jean that I, I thought we ought to have those as a basic in black. That is essentially that collection. As I said before, you do need to come in to feel the softness of all these knitwears and, and all these jumpers. I can, I can enthuse as much as I want, but until you feel it, really, you can't understand how beautiful they are. So come and have a look. Autumn is just around the corner. Hope to see you very soon. Um, still in the middle of sale, but that'll be finished shortly. Thank you.